Hey, how's it going? I am wonderful. <laughs> A three hour chat you had today. <laughs> yeah, I you know, normally you go for two and a half hours, but you know, it's a lot to cover, so Yeah, you had a lot to cover. I thought that was so interesting about the star card. Um I believe it's the river Styx that she's pouring the water uh, into, and it yeah. water is used as a, a truth serum of sorts. I found that really interesting. So, yeah, I just wanted to chat with you and see what you've been up to lately and what kinds of things you've been doing and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you know, my life consists of just, uh, trying to stay on top of my work and do readings and keep up with emails and, um, you know, feed myself, get enough to eat, work out, and deal with the local tyrants. They, they want, they, they want us, you know, I, I'll be, I'll, okay, I'll have a confession, true confession. There are times I will say that when I watch a video on YouTube and I see like an asshole getting his ass kicked. I actually kind of like it. I'm being honest with you. Okay. I kind of like it. If, especially if the person's being a real asshole, it's kind of like swift justice, divine, divine justice. I don't care who the asshole is. You know, it could be a left asshole, a right ass, but they're being an asshole. I don't mind seeing an asshole get their ass kicked. When I Googled your, you on, uh, on Google, I was, I got a whole list of stuff. Website, robertphoenix.com, YouTube, Robert Phoenix, the 11th house, Twitter, at Robert Phoenix, Facebook, Robert Phoenix, Apple Podcast, Robert Phoenix Show. Yeah, the Apple stuff was when I was doing Spreaker, and I was having my podcast come up on Apple, and I haven't, I haven't, you know, I mean, it's one of those things where if I had, you know, more hours in the day or more people, I can upload to more services. And yeah. I mean, do that. Now, now I just, I just go to YouTube. Yeah, I, I'm in that same boat uh, with uh, the opportunities that I've been fortunate with. I have been building a website. I think I forwarded you the uh, the address to that, uh, Association of Metaphysical Stores dot com. Yeah. And I'm so happy I did that now. You know, people want information. They want to find their this, their tribe, and I'm so glad that I've had the fortunate opportunities to, you know, provide a platform where they can, you know, find each other and find find our information that people like us put out there. We've been working on that, so I'm in the same boat. It's just like I've got so many opportunities. I don't know what's next. I can't keep up with it all. But I'm so happy for you. Oh, you put out such good information for everybody. And um, I'm just really glad that you are, you know, just ripping and shredding with all these astrological things. You know, I guess they've been good for you. Like, they've been good for me. You know, a lot of, this is like, I've heard like this, like 10% of the population has been hit hard by all this stuff. But everybody else is doing pretty good, you know. Yeah, I mean, it depends on, uh, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, I, I know that there are people that are, that are struggling and pe people that have been, uh, I think the people that have businesses have been having a really hard time, and uh, certainly restaurants, where I live, I mean, this place is almost, I mean, it's almost, if you can afford to have a business here in this town, it's almost foolproof. Mm. Uh, because this is a place where everybody comes to get away. The police and the sheriffs don't, don't really enforce mask rules. Uh, the fact they don't at all. Every now and then you run across a store that will. Mm. Uh, but, uh, and people, you know, they can't travel abroad. Um, and so, you know, coming to this little place, which is very quaint, has kind of a German vibe, and there are, uh, so this is, this is, 
this has been a real go-to place for a lot of people in Texas. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, yeah I've, I uh, did a Google map just to see where it was, Fredericksburg, but I had never really heard of it before that. That's very interesting. The town I'm in is sort of the same way. It's a, an old, old town because there was a brick factory here. Vandalia was going to be the capital of Illinois, but Springfield now. Um, and they were gonna, they had a huge factory here and a big opera house like 200 years ago. And since then, the place has kind of turned to a ghost town, but we're like 20 miles in any direction from anything. <laughs> so everybody just comes here to hide out and just hang out. And, like, there's never a cop. If you see a cop, it's like the talk of the town. Oh, there was a cop here. Oh, my gosh. It's such a cool place. Everybody rides around on four-wheelers and stuff. And every, everything's open. There's nothing shut down around here. They have church services and funerals. It's not nothing like what you hear on the news. Well, you know? you're what, probably a small town, right? Yeah, about 800 people. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you go to a place like Austin. And San Antonio is a pain in the ass. I bet. <laughs> There's something going on. And, uh, and, and what that, that thing is, I don't think we can um, easily articulate it. It, it. I mean, we can. We can get into Terrence McKenna language, or I can try to articulate it. But the best thing that I can surmise that of what's happening, we get into this astrologically, is that the construct that we've been living through, it, it's already started. I mean, we talked about this last year, but the construct that we've been living through is um, co is collapsing. It's collapsing in on itself. And when I say construct, I'm not just talking about, um, you know, schools and education and, you know, going to work every day versus working and up. These things, right, those are just – those are like emblematic of the greater construct. Like this thing is collapsing in on itself. It's coming to it's coming to an end. Okay, so when things come to an end, very interesting energies. I, I just got to tell you, I've been I've been dealing uh, with uh, a, a sense of darkness. Okay, I'm just being straight up. Uh, and today I've, I've been experienced, it actually started last night. It started last night and I started to feel very, very somber, very serious. I, you know, it was just, it was a, I wouldn't call it a mood. It was just a feeling and a vibe. And it's kind of carried on over into today. And even the weather is like really intense and cold and like something is really in the air, you know, not a, not a, <laughs> not a, not a, not a viral something, but the, you know, the, 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 the spirits are really stirring right now. Like that there's, there's something going on in the planet that is uh, powerful and uh, uh, not always, not easily assimilable. Jasper's looking at something. What do you see, Jasper? What do you see? Jasper sees spirits. You know, I'm a big fan of Brazilian music. I bet you didn't know that. I don't play it as much as I probably should, but I went through a big Brazilian phase back in the 90s. I was, like, really into Brazilian music. And I had, whenever a Brazilian artist came to town, I was there. Ain't that right, Jasper? So I saw Caetano Veloso. This is all old school stuff. Caetano Veloso. Um, I saw, let's see who else. Uh, Yvonne Leans, who was great. I, Yvonne Leans was fantastic. Uh, Milton Nascimento. I saw, I saw Milton Nascimento from Miles Davis. That was pretty cool. Well, you know, some of the things I was uh, kind of intuitively thinking of for this this conjunction you've been talking about, I came up with um, conceptualization, insurrection, detection, um, redirection, circumspection. You know, when I was doing a little bit of just meditating on the whole thing, reframing, revealing, rebirth. 
And um, it does it does feel very powerful. It, it's been monumental things happening in my life right now that obviously have astrological, you know, waves, like a wave that I'm riding. <laughs> but yeah. um, I think that uh, now is the time to not let up and just instead double down, you know. And, and I agree. Keep, yeah. keep going and um, pushing forward and whatnot. Um, but I noticed some of the negative things were um, trying to uh, uh, block our self-awareness, block our self-love, like the media and, and advertising and stuff, blocking our positive self-image and our our um, let's see what are some of my other oh in perpetual search that's another thing that I was meditating on like they catch you up in a perpetual search like there's a, a joke about Netflix like you'll never get to the end of the Netflix list <laughs> it just goes on and on and on forever and ever to just lure you in and hook you you know and I think it's interesting that there are some negatives that are coming in that we've got to be careful of, too. It's not all going to be rosy and positive, like some people are saying. It's going to be a lot of things to watch out for. But I think people like you and me are definitely got our eyes wide open for stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Well, there's a manufactured element to it, and there's also another element to it that is, uh, I would say, perhaps unconsciously like you ever wonder if god is really conscious you know what i mean you ever wonder if god is really conscious like is there a part of god that's conscious and another part of god that is unconscious and is discovering itself as the moment unfolds do you, you, you ever wonder that sometimes i do right because even though this idea of god is omniscient and all-knowing omnipresent and you know controls past present and future theoretically Right. There's, I think there's also another part of this idea of God, which is also slightly unconscious and that it has to be able to discover itself in some ways as we um, engage, act, interact. Right. I think there's a part of this. There's a part of this, because if it was all set in stone and, you know, it, it if I was a, if I was the god of the universe, the entire universe, and everything was set in stone, and I knew past, present, and future, I would find it to be kind of boring. Actually, I would find it kind of boring. I would I would have to sit around and go, you know, oh my god, when are they going to get here? You know, there are those kids again. They're just having they're just, you know, oh jeez, they go again, Jen. Oh, maybe I should be a little concerned over here. You know, ah, let them go. Eventually, you know what, uh, they'll, they'll figure it out. If they don't figure it out, they'll be on their knees and, I'll, and they'll have to deal with me and they won't like dealing with me. So, you know, ah, me, me, what's over here? What's going on on this planet? Oh, these guys are, these guys are doing really well. Oh my God, I'm loving this planet. Let me go over here and spend some time with these people, you know, fluff them up. Oh yeah, you guys love me. You worship me every day. This is great, right? I mean, I don't think that'd be really boring. That'd be really boring. You know, I think I think there's a part of God that is still unconscious and is discovering a, along kind of with us. It doesn't mean that it's completely unconscious, right? But, but I think in some ways it has to be. I think in some ways it has to be, so that we that that there is this symbiosis of this kind of awakening, right? There's this symbiosis of awakening because it's not so. Again, it's not like God is sitting around going, okay, when are they going to wake up? You know, I'm, I'm waiting here. I'm under the tree. When are they going to wake up? Right? Because I think that it's, there's got to be a turn on for God with the awakening. You know what I mean? It's, it's, so as we awaken, you know, God's got to get excited and go, God damn. Ooh, I like this. Feel good. Right? I mean, this is the unconscious piece, I think, that, that, that I that I think is co-creating with this other piece, which is the, of course, the dark master plan that basically wants to turn all of us into uh, sterile robots that are controlled by 
uh, Klaus Schwab's Game Boy, okay? So I think we're in this cycle now, and, and I do believe there is a pretty powerful awakening happening. And there is plenty of phenomena, I believe, that suggests that things are going on that are not business as usual. I was uh, wondering, like, what kinds of things you've got coming up? Do you have anything coming up in the future or um, events that you're thinking of? Uh, so my, my goal really is to... Uh, I have my mom coming tomorrow. She'll be here for a week. Ooh, nice. And uh, I've got to my readings. i got to get my website fixed. Mm. Once I do all that, then I'll be able to maybe plan ahead. I'd like to do some, I'd like to do some physical events. Mm-hmm, uh, yeah. Have people meet together, do something. But yeah, I don't know. I really, I'm just trying to, you know, stay, stay in the game and just um, broadcast. I'd like to do some writing if I can. Yeah, well, you get them down then. I think, uh, you know, God willing, space provided, 2020, 20, 2021 is the year of the books. It's the year of the books, 2021. I got Saturn moving into my third house. Which is all about writing and communication, so it's about time. But it just feels it just feels like you know, right now is a time where uh, we have these tools. And honestly, I don't know how long we're gonna have these tools for. Right. Before the regulations come and and start clipping all the wings, yeah. I, just, I mean I, so you, you know, just use them while you can. Yeah. That's one of the main reasons I pushed to get my website built on Drupal, because Drupal is like a, a website builder platform, and that way I can host things, I can, um, you know, do live streaming right through my website. It's a very powerful platform with Pantheon, and I felt like that was the best choice to go, even though it was a little more expensive to build it out that way. But now I'm so happy because of the potential of the future. And on my website, the main website is a store directory of all the metaphysical stores in in, uh, in Google Maps. In, in the pretty much in the whole country, I've got about 400 of them in my in my directory now. And we're getting more and more every day. We, people are like, "Well, did you know there's this little one over here in Long Island, and this one there, and this one there?" And I'm like, "No, I gotta look that one up." So it's kind of neat. It's just growing by leaps and bounds every day. But yeah, I mean, uh, I feel the physical contact thing is, is where it go, where it's headed. It's going to be like almost like a polarity shift. We've been so isolated. People are going to go way the other way and just want to get out and be with people. I think you're so right about the live events. That's definitely. And um, the big thing now is piggyback. You piggyback on other people's venues, like if. If there's a store, you know, and they have a back room where you can have an event in their facility, you know, and use that kind of piggyback mentality or like at a, the county fair or, you know, a flea market or somewhere where there's already a venue, you know, and make it easy on yourself to just kind of like um, use use their facility to, to, to facilitate whatever you got going on. You know, I'm trying to, like, work out things like that up at, um, in Effingham with some of the metaphysical stores up there. Yeah, so, well, thanks for reaching out. I mean, you sound great and sound inspired, and, and uh, those are really good things. I really appreciate your time and uh, just giving me a chance to chat and whatnot. Um, sure. It's so good to talk to you. And I really enjoyed the show. You were on such a roll tonight, man. I well, love that I, stuff. I try to, I try to give uh, people their money's worth. I really appreciate your support of me and my my uh, YouTube and my website and everything I've been doing. I really do appreciate your support of me, too. And I love everything you do. It's so great. <laughs> So, um, anyway, it's so good talking to you, and we're definitely going to have to chat real soon again. Yeah, yeah, you take good care, okay, and have a, have a great Christmas. You too. Happy holidays. Okay, bye-bye. All right.